Gen Z is the first generation to be worse off than their parents, but why? It's four main things right now, credit card debt, student loans, savings, and inflation. Everyone's debt, but especially younger people's debt, has grown a lot. The biggest increase in 20 years, and it was led by Gen Zs and millennials. To make things worse, delinquency rates are ticking up for those in their 20s and 30s, especially for auto loans. Credit card balances have surged for younger people. Wages are not growing enough to offset inflation. 70% of millennials live paycheck to paycheck, and 65% of Gen Z does the same. There's an average savings of roughly $2,000 between the two groups, which is hardly enough to cover an emergency. Gen Zers also have 13% more student loan debt than millennials. The student loan forgiveness plan will cancel $450 billion in loans, which is over 30% of the total outstanding student loan balance. But is it enough? Meanwhile, salaries are being eaten away by inflation. That rent bill really hurts. Stocks are cratering. The cost of living is skyrocketing. The Fed is hiking rates to try and save the economy with their very blunt toolkit, but that impact is not distributed equally. People with a 30-year fixed rate mortgage are insulated from the Fed with this major asset, but our younger generation feels every basis point increase across their portfolio of debt. Unemployment rate is still low, so if you want a job, you can likely find a job. Still, it's tough to stay above water, let alone save for retirement or a home. We need to consider the unequal impact of policy before an entire generation loses ground. Biden is trying to level the playing field for first-time home buyers, and that's a great idea, and we need more of them across both sides of the aisle. Whether that be more loan forgiveness programs, specialized financing for younger people, or maybe just financial education in schools, we need to bring this next generation up because they are our future.